วัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. So lately, I've been getting a lot of questions about walks and my walk and what do I do, what kind of walk people should get, and so on and so forth. So I thought I'd take today and make a video. To hopefully tackle all of your questions about walk, and there are actually two main sort of groups of questions that I get. So I'm going to split this into two part videos. The first video, this one, is going to talk about what kind of walk you should get and why. And then the next video, I will talk about how to season and care for your carbon steel walk. So depending on where you are in your walk journey, you may choose to watch one or both of them. All right, let's get started. So first of all, why would you want a wok at all to begin with? Well, I think woks are the most versatile piece of cookware in the kitchen. Growing up in Thailand, we used two things to cook: we used pots and we used woks. If it's soupy, it goes in the pot, and if it's anything else, it goes into a wok. Um, you can sauté, stir fry, sear, deep fry, boil, steam. We use the wok as a steamer quite a lot with a rack in there, and then. A lid on it, so I think that if you want to cook Asian food to any degree at all, a wok is a good investment. So the big question: What kind of wok should you get? And woks come in just about every possible material available for cookware. Okay, but I have one recommendation for you, and that is carbon steel. Period. No ifs, ands, buts, nothing. Just carbon steel. And here's why. Carbon steel wok is completely nonstick when properly maintained and seasoned. But then I get a few people asking me, "Well, should I just get a Teflon coated wok when I don't have to worry about maintaining it?" And I don't like Teflon anything in general. Teflon to me is like the diva of cookware. You can't use high heat on it, which for woking is a little bit of a problem. Um, you can't use metal utensils. You can't. Stack it upon other things because then it's going to scratch it. I mean, it's just and if you overheat it, it releases toxic fumes and things like that. So, you know, to me, it's more work to maintain a Teflon wok than it is to maintain a carbon steel wok, which we'll talk about in the next video. Now, there are other nonstick woks out there that's not Teflon coated, such as. This one that's supposed to be non-toxic and eco-friendly and all that stuff, and all that is good. I used to have this one. Clearly, I still do, but I used to like it. I don't anymore because over time the non-stickability wears out, and in the end, like the way it is now, it's just a sticky walk once again, which to me just you know doesn't make any sense. I might as well just get one good walk that will last me a lifetime, right? So that's another option out there that I don't recommend. Just want to touch briefly. Upon my brass wok, wow. a lot of people have seen me use this brass wok. Um, this is not really a wok. I mean, I call it a wok because it's kind of like a wok shape. But we don't use this for general stir frying. It's a reactive metal. You can't use acidic ingredients in it. So you've seen me use this basically to deep fry and to toast things, like dry toast things, because the sh I like the shape of it and it's not too large. So. In case anyone has questions, this I don't recommend as like your general cooking wok. So the second reason why I like a carbon steel wok is because it's extremely durable. This will last you a lifetime. There's no heat that's too high for it. You can use metal utensil and bang it to your heart's content, and it'll be totally fine. And Over time, you use it more and more. It develops that charred, smoky wok flavor that's iconic in a lot of like street food dishes. Now, many people have asked me, well, what about a cast iron wok? I mean, cast iron is nonstick when it's well seasoned. It'll last you a lifetime, and it retains heat really well and distributes heat evenly, and all that good stuff. And yes, 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 and all that is great if it were a flat sauté pan. But because we are using a wok, the heat retention is actually the opposite of what you want. When you wok cooking, you want the heat to change rapidly. I want to start my garlic in medium heat. When I throw in my noodles, I want to crank it all the way to high. If you use cast iron, it'll take you three minutes just to go from medium to high. And then once it's high and it's too high, you're toast because now it's going to burn because it'll take you another five minutes for it to cool down. So. Yes, cast iron is great, and I have cast iron, but not as a wok. Yes, I know some of you are thinking, wait a minute, didn't we see you use a stainless steel wok at your home in Thailand? 
Yes, yes, you did. And that's my parents' walk, not mine. Now, in their defense, stainless steel walks are actually pretty popular in Thailand. And it's, it's not a bad option for general walking. Um, it can take high heat, it's durable, it responds quickly to heat changes. The only downsides are, one, it is not nonstick. So if you're cooking with fresh rice noodles or eggs, you know, sticky things, it will become a problem. But for general stir frying or deep frying, other than that, it's fine. Um, and the other thing is it doesn't develop that wok flavor. Okay, it's always pristine and shiny. So, you know, all this black smoky stuff doesn't happen on stainless steel. So I still think carbon steel is a better option. So now that you're convinced that carbon steel walk is the way to go, here's a lowdown on my walk in case you want one exactly like this. Um, this is a 14 inch carbon steel walk. You can get one that's 12 inch and it's a little smaller, but I do not recommend it any smaller than that. Cause when you're stir frying, you're gonna regret getting a small walk cause you're gonna have to make sure things don't jump out. At 14 inch, I never have to worry about things escaping my walk. And this little handle here is called a helper handle and you want one with the helper handle, especially if you're going with a 14 inch walk because this walk is heavy, even just on its own. When it's full of food, you really want that to help you lift everything. And if there is a little thing right here so you can hang it up somewhere, that's even better because I mean like this is huge, right? So I keep it here just on Adam's stove all the time because he doesn't use the stove. But if you use it all the time, you're not gonna want this like sitting around in your kitchen. And I get this question all the time. Where did you buy your wok? Well, I got it at a local cookware store in Chinatown in Vancouver, which I'm sure is not helpful for most of you. So on my website, I've got a page called uh, Shopping for Thai Ingredients and Tools. I'll put a link right below and it lists um, a bunch of tools and ingredients that I use on the show. They're all Amazon links. I don't have one for this specific wok because it's not available on Amazon, but there's one very similar um, that you can check out if you'd like. And once you've bought your wok, don't forget to get one of these. Yes, this is a metal wok spatula. And yes, you can use metal on your carbon steel wok all you want, but don't use it on a Teflon wok. Um, so this is super cool because, see, it's got an angle as opposed to something that's straight like this. It makes flipping and turning the food in the wok really easy. And also because of the shape and this little edge here, you can use this as a serving spoon. So you don't need a separate ladle or spoon or anything. You, you've seen me serve fried rice with this. I know there are a lot of turners out there that's got kind of this angle, but then there's holes in it or it's completely flat and you can't serve anything. You gotta get another spoon. So this, this is the way to go. And that is it. I hope this has been helpful to you. Now, if you have a carbon steel wok or are going to get a carbon steel wok and you want to know how to properly maintain and care for it so it becomes non-stick forever, check out my next video. I'll put the link right up here or in the description below. And if you got any other questions about woks in general, get in touch with me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or on my website, hotthaikitchen.com. And I will see you next time. Sawatika. So